hi welcome back to rebecca's travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel uh, welcome back to uh, rebecca's lifestyle um today um i've had to go into work again um for some hours but however um it has <laughs> the weather uh, today in the Midlands, East Midlands in the UK doesn't know what to do with itself. Sometimes it's been windy, sometimes it's been dry and sunny and sometimes it's been raining. <laughs> um, hi, if you're new here to my channel, my name's Rebecca and I love talking about travel and lifestyle. And um, I do travel videos uh, five times a w week and also on my lifestyle channel also up, do um travel or other videos uh five times a week and um, so i just love talking about travel and lifestyle and um, again a lot of uh, good news today um but so i'm going to be uh giving you travel news uk five exciting facts february to the 22nd of um 2022 so i am going to uh, fire away uh, with a uh, number one which is at uh, north wales live at uh, uk foreign office updates at uh, travel rules at uh, for seven tourist destinations including uh, Spain and France millions of people across the UK are expected to be uh, taking the opportunity to jet abroad in 2022 the first time in years uh, the seven countries are Morocco, France, Australia, Spain, Norway and Greece and Israel. However, while many uh, continue welcoming travellers back and restrictions have eased significantly, there are still uh, many in place uh, for many destinations. Restrictions are tougher for those who have not uh, taken or cannot take the coronavirus vaccination so it's it's really understandable that obviously countries are going to be uh, tougher and what you will or um or may have to do is either 48 or 28 hours uh, take a test depends which one you're taking whether it's a pcr or the gene test um before you go if you're unvaccinated but um if you are vaccinated then um you uh, you don't need to take uh, the tests or not or not at least if you're visiting these countries but again if you want to be sure of the entry requirements you you could uh, go to um travel.gov.uk or gov.uk or read north wales live dot com um Another piece of news uh, from North Wales Live is which countries are allowing unvaccinated holiday makers? 15 countries uh, you can travel to even if you're not vaccinated against the COVID, um, which are Turkey, Portugal, Greece, Croatia, Cyprus, Slovenia, United Arab, Arab Emirates, Mexico, Ireland, Maldives, Italy, Sweden, Seychelles and Bahamas and Egypt. Uh, you will still have to read again the entry requirements because you may need to do tests like PCR or IGN 
at tests um, that are negative before you travel. So, um, again, it's not like a get out of jail free. These 15 countries will allow you to uh, travel if you've been unvaccinated. If you've not been vaccinated for whatever reason or can't take the vaccination and um, they still expect you to do the test before going into the country um, and obviously some countries won't allow you at all or with or the majority of the countries won't allow you at all if you haven't been vaccinated. Um, so number three, I news. Um, no more hotel quarantine red list or other travel restrictions unless very high. um has been reached obviously with people contacting the coronavirus in the uk the uk is unlikely to close its borders or impose travel restrictions again to limit the coronavirus again unless the very high bar ha um, has been reached so it's not impossible but a very high um infection rate would have to be re uh, reached before they do start to close borders and impose um travel restrictions number four the guardian um it is uh, the bad news is storm franklin and a danger um live floods warning in Shropshire for for a hundred and twenty nine flood warnings in place across England and Wales after third severe storm in a week Rex Haver flood warnings are issued in Shropshire and Worcestershire but again to be fair, you're going to have to be uh, prepared for floods all over it, um, England and Wales and uh, really bad weather everywhere. Uh, last but not least, Manchester Evening News uh, com. No changes to the UK travel rules, but locator form could be gone by Easter so some more good news um, that um, a passenger locator form could be gone by Easter so that's another bit of good news so I would like to say thank you for watching and um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to both my travel and lifestyle and thank you very much uh, for doing that I uh, will be doing another video tomorrow and it will be a luxury tra uh, travel special and I would like to say wherever you are in the world uh, well, I would like to say thank you and I hope everybody's as well as possible and as safe as possible and thank you and bye for now thank you bye